welcome to Storytime for Home Time. My name is James Mayhew and today I'm going to tell you all about how I made my very first book. Now when I was your age I really wanted to go into London but I didn't live near London so it was hard to get there. Eventually my grandma took me and my sister on a big bus into London to see the museums and galleries. And many years later when I was grown up remembering that day gave me the idea for my very first book. And here it is. It was called Katie's Picture Show. When authors and illustrators make books, they don't always get things right first time. I always have to practice everything a lot. So here are the very first practice pictures of my first book. Because I was only practicing, some of the drawings are a bit wobbly. This one I haven't even coloured in. Can you see Katie going in? There she is. I never dreamed this would get turned into a real book, but eventually I showed this to the people who do make real books. They're called publishers, kind of like a book factory, really. And they liked this idea and they wanted to make this into a real book. Would you like to see it? I'll show it to you. Here it is, my very first book. Katie's Picture Show by me, James Mayhew, published by Orchard Books. Katie and her grandma were in London for the day. When it started to rain, grandma said, let's go into the National Gallery and look at the pictures. Katie took grandma in through a big revolving door, spinning her round and round at least seven times. Katie had never been to an art gallery before. It's very grand, isn't it? she said. It is, said Grandma. Oh, but I need a rest after those spinning doors. You go and have a look at the pictures and be sure to be back in half an hour. The first few rooms were full of people, but soon Katie found a room with no one else in it. Katie didn't know which painting to look at first. She stopped in front of a painting of a horse-drawn cart. The Haywain by John Constable, she read. Please do not touch. Why not, said Katie. She slowly reached out her hand, and to her surprise it went right past the picture frame and into the painting. Oh, this isn't a picture at all, cried Katie. It's real. Then looking carefully around her, she climbed right into the painting. Katie looked around in amazement. Then she set off through the mud towards the cottage. A delicious smell of cooking came from the open window. Katie found a freshly baked apple pie cooling on the windowsill and helped herself to a large slice. It was so good she ate all the rest as well. Hey! That was my supper, yelled a man on the hayway. His dog barked, and Katie thought it might be time to go. She ran back to the picture frame and climbed into the gallery. She peered around the doorway of the next room. There was a guard sitting by the door, but he was asleep. Katie went up to the painting that she liked best. Madame Matessier by Jean-Auguste Dominique Angre, she read. Please do not touch. But of course, she did. Hello, said Katie. What a pretty dress. Merci, said Madame Matessier. How lovely to have some company. I sit here being looked at, but no one has ever come inside before. Will you stay for some tea and cakes? Yes, please, said Katie. Now, un lamp or deux, said Madame Matessier. Toi, said Katie. They talked and talked 
and they enjoyed seeing the surprised faces of the other visitors to the gallery. I haven't laughed so much for years, said Madame Matessier. She had to use her fan to calm herself down. But Katie laughed so much that she spilt her tea. It was her fourth cup, all over Madame Matessier's beautiful dress. <gasps> oh, how clumsy, cried Madame Matessier. Sorry, said Katie. She had also managed to get mud all over the carpet. She decided to leave before she caused any more trouble. She helped herself to another cake and jumped out of the picture and back into the gallery. Katie wandered into another room where she saw a very big painting. The Umbrellas by Pierre-Auguste Renoir, she read. She noticed a little girl with a hoop in the painting. I wonder if she'll play with me, she thought. Please do not touch, said the notice. But once again, she did. Inside the picture, it was raining. Would you like a cake? said Katie to the little girl. Merci, she replied. Let's play with my hoop. Soon they were having a wonderful game, bowling the hoop to one another. But Katie hit the hoop so hard it flew right out of the picture. It bounced on the floor and disappeared into another painting. The little girl began to cry. Whoops, sorry, said Katie. She jumped into the gallery and ran over to the other picture. It was called Surprised by Henri Rousseau. Katie saw there was a tiger in the painting. Please do not touch, said the notice. But she had to find the hoop, so she climbed over the frame and into the painting. Katie found herself in a wild jungle. The wind blew and it was raining very hard. She was a bit scared of the tiger, but he ran off through the trees. <coughs> Katie couldn't see the hoop anywhere, so she went after the tiger. Katie followed the tiger through the jungle. He led her past a lake full of crocodiles. They snapped their jaws at her. But Katie just laughed. She climbed up a tree and helped herself to a banana. Just then she saw the hoop hanging on a branch. Well done, tiger, said Katie, grabbing the hoop. She followed the tiger back to the picture frame and jumped into the gallery. Katie threw the hoop back into the umbrella picture. There you go, she said. The little girl was very pleased. They waved goodbye and Katie ran off into the next room. Exhibition of modern art, read Katie. Do not touch. Katie looked at a very different picture. Dynamic Suprematism by Kazimir Malevich, she read. It might be fun to climb up that big triangle, she thought. Without checking to see if anyone was watching, she jumped into the painting. Katie slid down the big triangle. Wonderful, she cried. This was the best picture yet. But Katie couldn't stop falling. She fell further and further and further into the painting. It was like falling into a great big mouth. Help, she cried. She didn't want to be eaten by a piece of modern art. Someone shouted, hang on. It was the guard. He threw a rope into the painting and Katie grabbed hold of it. Then he pulled her back to the picture frame. That will teach you to obey notices, he said. Sorry, said Katie. I don't think I'll ever do that again. Katie was covered in splodges of sticky paint. After she'd cleaned herself up, 
Katie thanked the guard and went to find Grandma. Grandma was snoozing on a comfy chair. There you are, she said, waking up. I hope you had a lovely time. Yes, thanks, said Katie. You can see all sorts of wonderful things in paintings. It had stopped raining now, so after Katie bought postcards of her five favourite pictures, they went to find a cup of tea and a piece of cake. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story of Katie's picture show, my first book. You know, I've always wondered, what kind of cake did Katie have at the end of the story? I've got my own piece of cake here and a nice cup of tea. This is ginger cake. Very nice it is too. Now, I haven't done a drawing today yet, so... Mmm, lovely. Mmm, mmm, mmm. a quick picture of Katie. I'm not sure I can draw her upside down, so I'm going to have to um, put the paper like this. I hope you can see that okay. For some reason I always start with her head. That's her hair. And she has her hair in bunches, of course. There we are. There's her eyes. And the other bunch there of hair. She always wears the same red coat. And there's her other arm and her hand. And she's waving to you, look. There she is. And as always, one of her shoelaces is undone. A very quick doodle of Katie. And as usual, if you leave a little comment on Facebook or Twitter, then you could win that drawing of Katie. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Storytime for Home Time. Bye!